Good morning, students. This is Dr. K. P. Siva. Today we are going to discuss about the probability concepts. In the subject mode. of the experiments are there. One is deterministic experiment. Second one is random experiment. How to define the deterministic and random experiment here? Deterministic experiment means we can predict the outcome in advance. Deterministic experiment is we can predict the outcome in advance. For example, all the natural truths are the deterministic experiment. For example, we can take the the sun rises in the east. It is a natural proof item. Next topic is random experiment. We can define the random experiment as follows. We can know all the outcomes of the experiment. For any, for any experiment, Already we know all the outcome of the experiment, but we are not able to predict the outcome of a particular event or a particular performance. For example, if you are throwing an ordinary coin, ordinary coin that we Face coin. You know that there are two outcomes are there, tip and tail. So I think we know that all the outcomes of the experiment. But when you are tossing the coin, we are not able to predict. So either it may come tip or tail or yeah. Right. Next topic is outcome or event. So already we discussed about that experiment. There are two types of the experiment. One is deterministic experiment. One more is random experiment. In the probability, we will discuss about that 
random experiment. What is called the outcome are given. For any experiment, for any experiment in general, we can get the outcome. So what may be that outcome? May be success or failure. Here, both the results are known as outcome. Next one topic is trial. See, in general, how to define the trial? Trial means we are trying something. We are trying something. So, here I define the trial. coin for the experiment. You are tossing the coin any number of times. You are tossing the particular coin any number of times. So if you are tossing the coin one time, that is called one trial. If you are tossing the coin two times, three times, like that, so we are trying that n number of times. That is trial one, trial two, trial three, etc. Next one is even. In the random experiment, we are doing some trials. From the trials, you are getting the outcome or result. The outcome or result is known as that even. So, how to define that the unique performance? For the random experiment, we are doing the trial. That is, we are repeating the experiment. For any trial, we are getting the outcome. That is called the event. If you are writing all the events as a set, that is called the sample space. Usually, sample space is denoted by capital S. The set of all possible outcome of the random For example, in tossing a coin, in tossing a coin, sample space is equal to 8, 10. In tossing a not very day, Since the die is the 6 space with die, 
So the possible numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Similarly, we can say a lot of uh, examples for the sample size. Next definition is the sample table. The set of all possible outcome of the random experiment A is sample size. So, in general, Sample space can be written as in case if you are taking any expression where many number of events are there, then we can write that sample space is equal to E1, E2, EN, where E1 is E2, EN are known as sample points. Each points is called the sample points. And one more property is that E1, UN, E2, UN, EN equal to S. That means sample space. Therefore, simply S is called the Universal set. 